And welcome back, folks, to a new game. We're going to be playing Snatcher on the Sega CD. And uh, I'm going to be talking a lot. It's it's kind of like a... Well, it's an adventure game, so there's going to be a lot of dialogue. So uh, hopefully... Hopefully it'll be fun. I remember watching a playthrough of this, and uh, it was pretty interesting. So we've got uh, the device. Gun adjust? Mm-mm. No guns here. Yeah, more talking. It's like our uh, Ace Attorney stream. The story, characters, and events in this game are entirely fictional. Any similarities to actual people, places, and events are entirely coincidental. Oh, I got it right in time. This game employs RSS, Roland Sound Space, in some parts. Oh, RSS? The story is dedicated to all those cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day. Are you guys cyberpunks? Because this one's for you. June 6, 1996. A mysterious explosion destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. Biohazard. By the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? Fifty years later, mankind faces its greatest crisis, the appearance of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or perhaps an invasion from some other world. They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine, they're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as Snatchers. Snatcher. Hey, Mr. Franco. That was the stream. What the hell? It was a robot underneath? Japan. Neo Kobe City. I don't remember this. Then again, I didn't remember the uh, the virus that took uh, took the lives of eighty percent of the people on Earth. I don't remember that one either. Where's Neo LeBron City? It's a good question. How will how will this affect LeBron's legacy? here. Oh man, knife fights in the streets of Neo Kobe? <laughs> 
Neo Kobe is just London. Neo London? I think we're watching a TV show. Translator Scott T. Hards. How's the audio, by the way? Okay? Mm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? Gillian, but why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, Very out of sync. There is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie. I'm going now. Fine, don't worry about it. Peace. Wow. Truly, this is the future. Oh, look at his hair. Estimated age 31. Three years ago, he and his wife, Jamie Seed, are taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia. Their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a junker, effective today. Sony's still there. And Sega too. And ASCII? <laughs> Konami Omni Building. Is it filled with Pachinko? Junker Headquarters. Act 1 Snatch? Excuse me? Welcome to Junker Headquarters. May I help you? Well, let's uh, look. Look at Operator. She's a beautiful oriental woman. Investigate. Operator. It's no use. She's protected by a shield. Look at the poster. It's just a junker recruiting ad. One of those pod type reception units where the operator sits in a shielded capsule. Some pretty heavy duty stuff they got here. This is more dangerous than I thought. Looks like a security camera. Looks like it leads inside of the headquarters. Let's investigate the pod. The shield is heat proof and shock proof. It's special it's specially designed to withstand an attack by snatchers. Looks like they're monitoring the offices. What organization are you with, sir? Let's investigate the area. There's no one around but the operator. Seems to be Junker Headquarters Lobby. Their security looks really tight. I'm afraid only Junker personnel are allowed inside headquarters. I'm sorry, may I have your name, please? Let's talk. Oh, well, let's try talking to that young woman over there. 
I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker Headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. <laughs> she looks like a helper in Ariobiz. She's gonna go open some slots in uh, Tokyo. I've been assigned to Junker um, Operations, effective today. You just told me that, Gillian. Oh. Ask about Junkers. Could you tell me a little about the Junker Operations? The Junkers are a special task force put together to combat the Bioroid Snatcher Menace. The hell's a Bioroid? It's overseen by government aid, uh, intelligence agencies. Ask about Neo Kobe. It's the first time in town. Oh, you'll get used to it right away. Everyone's pretty welcome. There's many different ethnic groups and types of people here. It's Japan, but it's not Japan, if you know what I mean. What is, no, I don't I don't get it. What, what does she mean by that? Is it because of the giant Kobe statues everywhere? Tell me a little about yourself. About me? Isn't that a bit forward, Mr. Seed? Let me tell you about myself first. Maybe then you can tell me. I can tell you're very smooth with the ladies. Ooh. That's too bad I can't get in there. She's truly gorgeous. Japanese undercover neurokinetic elimination ranger. Junker. The official Junker name and trademark bear on it. Um, right on. I have a pretty good memory, Mr. Seed, especially if it's a it's concerning an attractive man like you. Damn. I ate. Mr. C. Gillian's fine. You can call me Gillian Mika. Okay, Gillian. I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. <laughs> what is that cheeky face? It looks like someone who just said, you know what I mean? <laughs> Where shall I show you first? Uh, first, you could go uh, show me the business ventures of Neo Kobe. Then we can go open some slots in uh, Osaka. Let's go into the chief's office. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Seed. <laughs> <Chief's> <laughs> Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the Army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid there was very little to base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. He looks like a mix of Brain Lord and Oyaji. Middle-aged Brain Lord. Look at the chief. He's the chief of the Junker operations, eh? Just as I imagined him. Did you say something? Information from all over the world is continuously pouring in. It's a nice view of Neo Kobe. Too bad there are snatchers lurking out there somewhere. Neo Kobe at night. Great view, don't you think? A picture of a vase, eh? 
Ooh, what a funny design. That is a funny design. A little suspicious. Looks like a pretty comfortable sofa. Looks like a bunch of bananas. See, I'm no snatcher. I, I don't know. They could, good, they could snatch anybody. It's an ultra high resolution display panel capable of playing back holograms as well. Hmm, so this is his taste in art, huh? Don't touch that picture. It's very special to me. Okay, this, the picture is very suspicious. It's an air cushion type sofa. It's the latest in robot sofas employing chaos system technology. Chaos. Hey, chaos. Let's talk about junkers. Junker headquarters was set up a year ago by the police as a special task force to combat the snatcher problem. Junker operations were officially started in August of this year. We answer directly to the government's intelligence agencies. This poster is pretty tacky. Oh, really? Well, that's my design, by the way. Chief, your taste is right out of the dark ages. That's, that's a take. A junker operates with certain rules and privileges different from regular police officers. Those are... The purpose of the junker force is to eliminate bioroid snatchers. A junker, even in the course of carrying out one must not harm innocent civilians. The subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates the subject is indeed a snatcher. A junker is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. That's weird. In order to carry out one, a junker is allowed to use the use of a blaster and a navigator and a turbo cycle. Those are the five rules. The junker's job is to figure out who the snatchers are and eliminate them. I want you to put your special training in the military a good use and investigate those points about snatchers that we don't yet understand. We've got to put a stop to them. A junker's job is highly specialized and extremely dangerous. That's why there's so few of us. I'm the chief. Harry's the engineer. There's Mika, Gibson, and you are our runners. It's just five of us. Damn. Yes, three years ago, the Snatcher suddenly appeared in Neo Kobe. We have no idea where they come from or what do they want. What we do know is that they kill, copy, they kill, copy the appearance of their victims and take their place in society. That, and that their numbers are increasing. That should be enough to make your duties as a junker quite clear. This is your junker ID card. It will identify you as a junker. Carrying it allows you to exercise your special authority. I see. Sort of like a police officer's badge, huh? And, uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash? Credit cards aren't accepted in some regions of the city. You'll need this sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. This card gives me all the special rights of a junker. This card is very important. Do not lose it. This is the cash they gave me for expenses. Having to carry cash around is so inconvenient. Ask 
about navigators. It's a robot designed to assist junkers by performing all types of analysis. Got a pretty good sensor setup too. Oh, nice. All right. Well, see ya, boss. I would like to go see the engineer. This is engineering. All the junkers, that is the runner's equipment is made here. Doesn't look like Harry's around at the moment. Mika's face. You're truly beautiful, Mika. Thanks, Gillian. I'll take that at face value. World. Huh? There are tools and machines all over the place. It's a regular factory in here. This room always looks like this. I don't know how he finds anything. Ask about Harry. Harry Benson is our engineer. He's a bit of a lush, but he's a friendly and sweet old guy. Every Junker investigation, it's an, al an analysis robot. Quite the combination, eh? We call the robots navigators. Yeah, Lush, I think it's a drunk, right? His wife was killed by a snatcher two years ago. After that, he quit his detective job and became a junker. Since then, he's been living with his daughter, Katrina. Yeah. They could care the card. They keep telling me that. I'll show the card. It's probably not a good idea to show that to people too much. I'll show 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 the cash. That's your expense money. Uh, let's go to the detective. Detective room. It's the office for our runners. That's what we call junker investigators like you. You'll be using the desk in the back. What about this desk near the door here? That's John's desk. John Jack Gibson. He's our ace runner. Oh, God damn it. Mika's face, Mika. Yes, what do you want? I can sense that you and I are destined to fall in love. It might sound crazy, but... Gillian, you're married, aren't you? I mean, he's separated. A lot of information flows into here. All the information available to our runners is output from Jordan. This is an antique desk. John really is, John's really into antiques. Looks like a nice desk, but I probably won't be using it much. This place is really different from other detective offices. Ask about Harry. He's quite brilliant. He's won three Nobel prizes and the Fields prize. Hey, I'm Harry. John's navigator is called Little John. I wonder what kind of navigator you'll get. His, uh, Gibson is apparently out on an investigation at the moment. He'll introduce you. I'll introduce you once he gets back. Katarina, she's John's only child. She turned 18 this year. Oh, okay. Yes, 18. It's Junker Headquarters. It's linked to databases throughout the country, so you can find almost any information you might need. 
You're definitely laying it on too thick, don't you think? Oh, sorry, Mika. Antiques in the computer room. I haven't seen a keyboard in some time. Keyboards? A number of input and output devices are linked to the host computer. About computer, help computer. This is our host computer, a model RM 1013. We call it Jordan. Jordan Kobe. That's for Junker Online Regional Data Access Network. It employs full scale artificial intelligence based processors. Jordan is fully programmed with all human learning routines and uses an intelligence in interface to perform automatic translation, problem solving, you name it. It employs expert class artificial intelligence routines developed for field work robots. It's the best there is. How to use. First put your junker card in that slot. Once it's, once it's confirmed you as a user, you just follow the instructions that Jordan flashes on the screen. Use Jordan. I am Jordan, Junker Headquarters Host AI Computer System. Please insert your ID card. What? This thing's got a personality? Junker card go going in. <coughs> what sort of information do you need? Well, at least it let me in. Load ID file. Use the cursor to input the name of the person you're looking for. Put first name, then last name. Oh, John Konami, John Konami, okay. Enter name. Uh, billion. Oh. You do not possess a high enough security clearance to view this data. Eh? A class seven ID? What? Why can't I get this data? That's weird. No, no, it's not missing a space. Check John Snatcher. Konami, okay. Chinko distributor. Hey, was that the Gradius start? All right. Um, What was your knife, uh, your knife, your wife's name again? Does anyone remember? That was the, uh, the helper, right? Mika Slayton. Administrative Assistant, Junker Agency, age 23, height 167, weight 55, blood type A+. Single! We're in, boys. We're in. Graduated from Kobe City University with dual major in criminal psychology and municipal data management. Worked at Kobe Crime Research Lab before moving to Junker Agency. Handled numerous unusual cases at the lab and solved them by using the dangerous technique of attaining complete simpatico with the criminals. But the psychological stress from her job led her to resign. Recommendation from Junker Chief led her to joining the agency. With that blood type, you're right, yeah. Um, what was the chief's name? Let's put in John. Jean. 
Well? Joey Jojo Shambaloo. John Jack Gibson, runner, Junker Agency, age 55. Height, 185. Weight, 78. Blood type, O+. Plus. Wife, Alice, deceased. Daughter, Katrina, age 18. Officer in Police Science Division since 2015. Wife killed by Snatcher in Bioroid Panic of 2046. Requests and is granted transfer to Junker Agency. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Thank you for using Jordan. Oh, it's Harry. Let's put in Ka Harry and Katrina. Harry Benson, engineer, age 55, 168, 65. Single, originally member of the government science team to combat snatchers before its combination with police team to form Junker Agency. Parents die in the catastrophe. Harry is taken to government custody, earns PhD from Michigan State University at age 14. Gains widespread attention for his development of weapons during World War III. Joins NASA following the war, contributes to Ramjet Engine. Three Nobel Prizes. Damn, this guy's crazy. He's like a super genius. I can see why there's only three people here working here. It's like it, he does the job for like 60 people. Katarina Gibson. Age 18, 160, weight 30, 43, O minus, only daughter of Jack Gibson, John Jack Gibson, won Miss 17 contest in 2046, currently a popular model in holographic advertisements, dislikes, identifiable by heart-shaped birthmark on inner thigh. Why, why would the computer know this? Shooting range. This is a shooting range. Junker come here to improve their marksmanship. This skillion's a little weird. Uh oh. Number of man-shaped targets appear in the practice booth. We call our we call it our shooting practice range. But it's a lot like a video game arcade, don't you think? How to practice? How do you start practice? You just follow the Junker's eye practice system. Okay. Harry's an orphan. He lost his parents in the catastrophe. Oh, that's why. That's why. He got all, uh, all the awards and all that. He got orphan powers. Don't worry. You'll be able to get one from Harry. If you meet him, you'll understand why he's so good. He's a model. She's quite cute. and you don't have your blaster. Let me take a crack at it. I'll let you use my ray gun. Okay. Start the shooting practice. A to draw and C to fire. Shoot only snatchers. Oh boy.
<laughs> Hitting all the snatchers is great, but you hit some civilians too. No wasted shots. All you need to do is eliminate those hits on civilians. Okay. Go see Harry. Okay. Harry's got to be back. I don't know. He's quite the freewheeling type. Oh, good. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're a uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. Those are some odd work clothes. Let me take a look at those. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it! Somehow I get the same impression. Have I met this guy before? What's wrong? Do I have something hanging from my nose? There's a poster and a photograph on the wall. Looks like th and this looks like a poster from the late 20th century. What, you know who she is? You got a good taste for a youngster. It's the picture that was on the wall. It's a photograph of a small boy. That's a picture of me as a kid. It's my only memory of my childhood. It's very old. This kind of printing technology hasn't been used since the last century. Keep your hands off that, will ya? It's pretty fragile. This appears to have been cut from a larger photo. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Oh, Metal Gear, oh my God. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mach 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. You thought we were done with Metal Gear? And here we are. Navigators are designed from the start as a Junker's investigative assistant. On-site detection, analysis, recording, communications, you name it. They're all packed with features. And Metal Gear is the latest model. What about an attack system? Do they carry any weapons? Right not. They're unarmed. After all, the main idea behind a navigator is to assist in the investigation data management. You do have a save function. Choose Metal Gear and save. Oh, okay. You can use the light command to see when it's too dark. What about communications? There's a video phone installed. A video phone? In theory, you can use it anywhere, but you have to watch for interference. Sometimes the signal just can't get through. Ask about the blaster. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Oh, no. How she feels. It's a... It's junk. It's unbelievably light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it.
You're an engineer. Tell me how the snatchers are built. It's odd, but we've never been able to get a specimen. They're always stolen or have self-destructed. Do they have any weakness? They're built really well, so it's tough to destroy them outright. Try to mobilize them. They've got these slits in their head for some reason. Well-placed shot there will often destroy their control functions. That's why it's important to practice your marksmanship. I have a video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M district. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. Oh. Guess we're starting. This is a turbo cycle, specially designed for jumper use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas. VTOL? No difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. Brand new, and it's just been tuned up. It's a 47 Interceptor. Built by the same company that builds the shuttle. Oh, thank you, Deb. Much appreciated. On the ground, it runs on three wheels, but they're retracted during flight. How come we don't have flying cars? Well, to be fair, it's not 2047 yet, so we've still got a few years. the Junker HQ parking lot. Several turbo cycles are parked in the area. It's built with the latest ceramo plastics and carbon polymers. It doesn't even have a scratch on it. Oh, let me drive it a couple of times. It's going to have a bunch of scratches for sure. There's no problem. Tires also have the inspector's stamp on them. Nobody in the parking lot. All right, well, let's go. Let's use Metal Gear. Video phone. No time. We're in the turbo cycle. Operation is computer controlled. Where would you like to go? Factory ruins. Now departing for the abandoned factory. My first day on the job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is cornered a suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. Guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. We've arrived at the abandoned factory. What would you like to do? Exit. Well, I don't think there's any civilians in the abandoned factory. We've arrived at the abandoned factory. This is where John called from. The battered old factory, judging from its design. I'd say dates from the period when man production techniques were still used. It appears abandoned. The building is heavily damaged. Probably been abandoned since the last century. Sky is getting quite dark. Looks like a storm may be coming in. This place is quite run down. It looks deserted too. Better save.
Use Metal Gear to level the factory. It has no weapons. It's also like two feet tall. There's no sign that ever anybody's around. Motion detector. Metal, are you reading anything? We'll have to move inside. Uh oh. Oh no. What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider like robot used by snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme caution. Uh oh. We've entered the factory. This is the spot where he placed that video phone call. Debris everywhere. Watch your step. Pipes running everywhere. Ceiling looks quite weak. Well, it's his first day. It's just like Resident Evil 2. The building is severely, severely damaged. It should be demolished. Been weakened by rust. It's quiet. Too quiet. Are we picking anything up? Nothing's moving. What happened to Jean? Nothing on the ground. Be careful. Nothing special. Where's John Jack, anyways? Yeah, that's really hot. I'm gonna have a blister. Surface is hot due to steam within. Why is there steam? I better save. Moving on ahead. <gasps> what the? It's Little John. Little John? Yes, Jean Jacques Gibson's personal navigator. Uh oh. Ceiling's been damaged. Some of the wiring is sticking out. Little John's parts are spread everywhere. It's awful wreckage any everywhere. I don't detect anything special. Little John's been demolished. There's no way to repair damage this bad. I don't see anything. I can only find Little John's memory chip. This charging indicate this charring indicates he was hit by fire from a laser cannon. All his circuits are burned completely through. His functions have been completely terminated. His memory me may, may be all or partially intact. Where's Gibson? The navigator never leaves his runner's side unless there's a very serious reason. We have to hurry. Gibson is in trouble. Well, 
What do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Not getting any readings. Report analysis results. Little memory. I can't analyze another navigator's memory. I'll have to go back. Besides a large pillar across the floor, there's nothing unusual. Anything on the sensors? We're the only thing moving. No, no one else is in the area. It's too quiet. Wait, there's a figure on the floor. And oh my god, his head has been twisted off. Jeez, I wish I didn't have to meet him like this. I can't believe they killed John. He dropped his blaster here. No readings. He's still warm. What killed him? His head's been twisted off. He died instantly. It would take incredible strength to do this. An old type blaster. It's definitely John's. Still warm. He probably fired several shots. Oh, better save. John's holding something in his right hand. There was a key in the pocket. It's hair. He's holding several ha strands of hair. There's skin tissue under his nails. Type o 
Maybe there's more than one snatcher involved. Gibson said I've cornered a probable male snatcher. Uh-oh. Two snatchers? What is this key for? Hang on to this key. The blaster has been crushed flat. No doubt it was a snatcher. There's a scrap of paper in one of the pockets. Search the house? There's 's what's that supposed to mean it could be John's last words I'm reading movement something just ran across the hall the doorway better save that a moment ago definitely picking something up but dead end dead end then where did the snatchers go anything on your sensors blocked by a cave-in we can't go any further it's too quiet Are you okay, Gillian? That's weird. It was fine until a moment ago. Please stay quiet. What's wrong, Metal? Maybe it's a sensor defect, but I think I'm picking a sound off in the distance. Can you hear it? Feels like my ears are going out on me. Maybe it's due to an, a change in air pressure. There's several tons of earth. can hear a sound like a timer. What could it be? Are you okay? Maybe it's colder in here than I thought. Where did those snatchers go? They definitely headed in this direction, didn't they? Is 
there's no other way unless they liquefied themselves. They must have gotten some uh, out some other way. Wait, I can hear something. I can't hear a thing. Try turning up the volume on the TV. Sounds like a timer. I can hear something. Thought little John's functions were totally dead. Whoa. A time bomb. What is that face? There is little time. Just to be on the safe side, you should say frequently from here on. Oh, okay. Get out of here. The sectors, use your blaster. Sometimes the gun won't fire. The motion reading has vanished. We're getting out of here. Sorry, I cannot go with you. What's wrong with you? Hurry it up. I am incapable of locomotion. What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go! It's gonna blow! Please save yourself! I am paralyzed with fear! Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot! Come on! Oh! Jeez, my ears are really ringing. That's because you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. There is no need for concern. I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker Headquarters. We've returned to Junker Headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I am sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. This is the chief's office. Yeah, there's audio desync. That was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. 
You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. Ask about investigative procedure. Based on the analysis of the hair strands he was grasping and the skin tissue found under his nails, we're reasonably certain that at least one male and one female snatcher were involved in killing him. You have to learn what he was up to. What was he after? What was he investigating when he was killed? You should check out the detective's room and then his home. That's right, it's the first strand type game. So what was Gibson trying to tell us? What's that junk? Okay, well, I don't know. Let's talk to everyone. This is engineering. Well, so our new junker has returned. <laughs> I register high alcohol levels. Harry is intoxicated. I really... You know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry! What kind of backup was that supposed to be? If you were a better junker than that, Jean... Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean... <laughs> Sorry, it's... it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would you give Harry the memory chip we pulled out of Little John? Of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip. He's been drinking quite heavily. He still has the brandy bottle in his hand. Sniff. This is odd. I thought that Harry only drank Japanese sake. What's this brandy, huh? What's this? There's numbers written on the label. It says 395644. 3-9-5-6-4-4. I'm having a little farewell party for Jean. Oh. So we can't put numbers here. Three nine five four four. What does it mean? To investigate John's personal items, we must learn what he was doing before he was killed. The locker that John was using. Personal things should be in there. A coat hanging on the locker. 
pick the pockets. A chess piece? Chess piece made of wood. Okay. Let's hang on to that. Black Queen, highly symbolic. Oh, I see. Investigate desk. Has drawers installed. It's locked. A key? Nobody uses keys anymore. Wait a minute. John had a key. Something inside the drawer. Capsules. And a disc. What kind of capsule medication? What kind of medicine is this? I'll perform an analysis. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Jeez, it looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. And what was he doing eating buffalo? That seems a little unusual. Perhaps there was some reason that he had to eat buffalo. All right, that was weird. The five inch floppy disk. Floppy disks? Damn, that really is ancient. This uh, must have something to do with John's investigation. It's a floppy disk. It's a disk that is floppy. Not like a hard disk. It's what happens when you leave a disk in the pool for too long. in the locker I wanted to do that joke too late oh wait a minute maybe we can call that number on the brandy forgot the number already it was five nine something something Oh, that's cute. I guess this can't use the Napoleon. Three nine five six four four.
I'm an acquaintance of Gibson. I need some information. You an investigator too, huh? Can't trust them. All right, let's have the password. The password? Gillian, how did you know that he was John's informant? Oh, come on, Metal. Guys like this always turn out to be informants. It's that simple? I used the trick question on him. I see. What are you mumbling about? Come on, let's have the password. The revolution. Metal number. Okay. Computer. Help computer. Enhance. 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 You study French history. Um, not, not really. Study Canadian history. Canada has history? Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, aka Napoleon first, aka then a little corporal, emperor of the French, brilliant, blah, blah, blah. Revolution is ended. Claims himself emperor. Okay. He was defeated at Waterloo. Three nine five six four four. You'd prefer a woman, I suppose. Oh no. <laughs> uh we just read this. We just read this. Goldfish memory. All right, chat, you have to help me.
I'm not seeing any answers here. You blind. I'm not going to write a hundred day girth. All right. <sighs> all right. I'll go back and don't answer. I'm going to have to write the goddamn thing down. I gave you a hint. I don't remember. Hey there, Dark. How was the stream? We're doing French history. This is the only class I failed, by the way, in university. Okay. The little corporal. The revolution is ended. Hundred day rain. Okay. Okay, this time for sure. <laughs> I've already forgot. I already forgot. I, I can't hold on to what was the number? Is it seven? Oh, God damn it. The number you have reached this is too much information. Brain can only remember seven things, you know, seven numbers. All right, we know this. That's how you write it, right? Okay, you seem pretty real to me. Meet me at the Alton Plaza in X E X G District. Now, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Any leads yet? A place that serves Buffalo. Wow, I can't help you with that. The analysis showed that it had been about three hours since he ate it. So we know the place must be within a three hour travel radius. You're not much help there, chief. Hard fought victory, indeed. I'm all right now, Gillian. You can't stay depressed over these things forever. Damn, girl. It was like not even 30 minutes. No, I wanted to save. Do something. 
and soul. Smell? Smell? Persuade. Smell? Sniff, sniff. That's a great scent. So if you keep this up, she will probably dislike you immensely. I may be leaning in that direction already. Don't worry, I'm gonna destroy the Snatchers. I believe you, Gillian. So how about a date tonight? I don't think we know each other well enough yet. Oh, come on, that doesn't matter. Gillian, you may not know this, but there are certain, there's a certain order in which things are supposed to happen. You really, you've really got a short temper, haven't you? Buffalo? I, uh, I've never heard of any places that serve that. He's known him ever since he was a science cop. I feel so sorry for his daughter. She's all alone now. He kept mumbling something about, I've got those snatchers now or something like that. He found something useful in John's desk, right? It was just a joke. I got a couple of leads. Don't worry yourself over Jean. Thanks, Mika. Gillian? Yes, Mika. How are you and your wife doing? I haven't talked to her in a while. Not even on the video phone? No. You shouldn't leave her alone like that. That's right. Come to think of it, I have her number written down at home. I bet she's pretty lonely. I bet you're right. Thanks. Be careful, Gillian. We should probably go back home. Your apartment building? Why is it so eerie? Wow, you mean I have a place to live too? Please tone it down, Gillian. I know you have lost your memory, but isn't that carrying the act a bit too far? <laughs> I'm just trying to make things a little more fun for the folks playing the game. Fourth wall breaking? Oh my god. Neighborhood's not much, but it's a great looking building, eh? We are in the living room. For a widower, a widower, the room seems rather tidy. I'm quite impressed. Don't you ever shut up! Are you programmed to evaluate my personal life too? My duty is to support you and, obs and observe that you are properly carrying out your responsibilities as a junker. Some observer? You mean informer, right? Well, one could put it that way. See nothing noteworthy. Well, geez, I'm sorry I lead such an ordinary life. Do not get upset. You know that it is not what I meant. There's a photograph on the shelf. A very special picture for me. There's a single sofa bed. Overall, a rather spartan and bland room. Hey, I haven't all I haven't had time to go shopping yet, alright? It's a picture of Jamie. 
Yes, the wife you are separated from. She is very attractive. I wrote Jamie's video phone number on the back of the picture. There's some numbers written in the back. Three, nine, three, four, four, four. You recall. Would you let me deal with my own personal life? Hi, Jamie speaking. Oh, Gillian, how are you? The old flame, hang up. Let's talk about your feelings. Jamie, I'm not sure how to say this, but I really want to make up with you. I want to try again. Please don't say that, Gillian. Right now, I think the two of us are better off apart. I'm sure of it. She's dating another man right now. Just doesn't want to tell us. Looks like this junker business is more dangerous than I thought it would be, Gillian. But it's still not as bad as boot camp. We were smelling a random woman 15 minutes ago. Hey. That's true, but... I'm a lot more relaxed working like this as a junker. Aren't you pushing yourself too hard? Well, it's pretty scary sometimes, but I've got a definite... A definite goal. Something to live for. I was really surprised when I heard you become a junker. I'm sorry. It was really hard to for me to try to tell you. That's alright. Besides, we live near each other. We can meet at any time. Call me if anything comes up, okay? All right. Jamie, you should probably stay indoors at night. That's when snatchers are most active. It's dangerous. I'll be fine, Gillian. Why would they ever go after me? They only want VIPs, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're after VIPs? It's over. You now have a target on your backs. So how you doing? I'm getting by, all right. How about you, Gillian? Are you eating properly? I'm doing okay. I miss your great... Paschetti? Paschetti? Oh, that's cute. You still call it that? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. How's your job going, Jamie? Are you still working at Kobe Pharmaceuticals? Yes, this work really suits me. Feels like I've been doing this for years. Any signs of your memory coming back? I'm afraid not. I can't remember anything about living together or with you or having fun together. What about you? I can't remember anything from before. I woke up in that bed in the army hospital. Has anything funny happened to you lately? Gillian, if I was a snatcher, would you kill me? Uh, yes. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Gillian, if I was a bug, would you still love me? No. No, you're a bug. Why are you asking me questions like that? Well, I don't know. I really don't. I've always liked that part of your personality, Gillian. Uh, but Gillian, be careful. It could get you killed in that job you're doing. Where are you headed? Oh, I just have an appointment with someone. She's dating! She's dating another man! 
A man? Why do you want to know? Well, you know, I just like to keep tabs on you. You jealous? <laughs> what are you trying to do, woman? What are you trying to do? That's it. You're jealous, aren't you? Don't pick on me like that. Sorry, and don't worry about anything. I'm just going for my regular examination. Your memory recovery treatments? That's right. Doctor, you know who. So that's it, huh? Well, that old guy definitely doesn't give me anything to worry about. I don't know about that. These days, I find myself attracted to senior citizens. We're in, boys. We're in. I guess I'll have to try again after I've gotten a little older, huh? No, we're plenty old. <laughs> you want to go? Oh, let's go to the arcade. Why don't we head over to the Hoverland Ho Hoverland? It's a lot bigger than Mindwave, and there's a lot of couples there these days. I'll grab a cute stuffed animal for you with one of those superconducting cranes. I'm good friends with one of the employees over there, so I can always get prizes. Uh, I'm sorry, Gillian. I just don't feel like doing that kind of thing yet. Oh. Uh, what about what about the zoo? The zoo's always fun. Why don't we visit the bio zoo? I hear a baby unicorn's been born there. I hear there's an exhibition of works by Carm Carmeisenhofen. I don't feel like doing that kind of stuff. Okay. okay. Uh, you want you want to go for a meal then? Just talk to me a bit over dinner or something. We haven't been out in so long. I'm sorry, Gillian. I don't. Okay. Do you want to? Uh, you want you want to go to the ocean? Let's go to the beach. How about Shia Bay or Old Suma? I know. Let's go to Michael Park. Sealed off, but I know a back way in. Oh, I'll be okay. I have my junker pass. It's an all weather type beach, so it won't be that cold. Uh, I hate wearing swimsuits. Uh. Your scar from having your appendix out? Why are you? Why are you ever gonna stop worrying about that? Ah, uh, oh, okay. Well, uh. Uh, want to go to the hotel? Why don't we swear? Should we swear? We sweet a uh, quiet drink over the uh, over in the lounge at the Neo Portopia Hotel. <laughs> it seems on. <laughs> Jamie, you always liked moon salt, right? I'm sorry, Gillian. It's, uh, okay. Well, um, let me uh. Um, oh, well, um, well, see ya. It was good talking to you. Goodbye. No interest in women. This is most unfortunate. Shut up, Metal Gear! Shut your hell up! You shut up! I can't believe I'm hearing this from a robot! I read no motion. There's nothing here beside us. My apartment! So I lead a very dreary life. Yeah, this is getting too real. I gotta I gotta get out of here. Enter the bathroom. Ooh. Standard bathroom, low cost, energy conserving. Low cost, oh, excuse me. There's a bottle of perfume and a razor. Sink is completely normal. Use it with confidence. 
Metal, would you stop being so bloody analytical all the time? Can't help it, after all, I'm an analysis robot. Ah, this is that famous Le Smell de l'Amour. That's right, it's Jamie's favorite. It's almost as if her scent still lingers in the air. You keep your ex-wife's perfume. Uh, it's kind of a little sad. He'll be back someday, I promise you. If I could live with Jamie, I suppose I could put up being with the, uh, being your navigator for a little while longer. You got good taste in women, Metal. It's the first time we've agreed on anything, perhaps. Of course, my taste in women was programmed from your personal data. If that's true, you should understand what I'm going through right now. What's wrong, Metal? I just couldn't help but be overcome by how miserable your life is. Jeez, you and I are definitely not on the same wavelength. It's the latest, it's the latest micro laser feather type. Gillian, why don't you try shaving? This will give you the closest, most comfortable shave a man can experience. Shave. I think I'll shave. Look how much it took off and you just shaved with your regular razor this morning. Funny, I've always been happy with that brand. Perhaps we should lay off the old jokes for now. You're right. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, sniff, sniff. Oh, Jamie. Does the scent remind you of her? Uh, no, nothing. Whoops, I got a little sentimental moment there. Gibson said to search his house. It's Gibson's house. Rather a nice looking early American type home. Does not appear to be auto tint glass. The interior is clearly visible. It's the northern part of the suburbs. It's quite a contrast between this and the southern district. The door on the front is the main entrance. There's, there does not appear to be a doorbell. How about we try knocking? Windows are securely sealed. The glass is reinforced. Katrina, are you in there? Who is it? You're Katrina, right? I'm a junker. I just started down at Junker uh, headquarters. My name is Gillian Seed. Really? If you really are a junker? Are you really a junker? If you are, show me some proof. Proof? Your junker ID, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Well, looks genuine to me. I can't trust you with just that. Tell me how old my father is. 
was like 56? 55? 55 years old. That's right. It's still not enough to trust you. I'm going to ask you something about myself. With all these questions. She knows that as a junker, you have access to Alpha One. You saw her data on Jordan, didn't you? She's a smart girl. Unique mark on her body. That's the heart. Heart mark, right? How's this? This got to be it. Eh? Was it not the heart? Oh man, we gotta go back. There was a heart mark. Right above her thigh. Or did I just misread the question? That's also a thing. Birthmark on the heart shaped like a thigh. That's funny. What was your day? Wait a minute. Let's, let's read about Jamie. Last seven ID. I can't access my own or Jamie's data. I've got a class seven ID. There's no one close to that in the Junker headquarters. Not even the chief? That's correct. What about you? Would you know anything about this? I know nothing. Nothing at all. Did I have to write, did I have to write heart shaped? God damn it. That's just Katrina being. Well, you didn't say heart shaped, so it doesn't count. Answer the question. You 
something like this. What the hell? Oh, birthmark? Oh. Yeah, okay, so... A birthmark! Tell me the shape. God damn it! Heart-shaped! That's right. Where's this birth birthmark located? Thigh. Inner thigh. I'll just write thigh. That's pretty embarrassing, but at least I know you're the real thing. I'm very sorry about all of that. I'm Katrina Gibson, Jean's daughter. I'm... I'm so sorry. What's the matter, Mr. Steed? I'm very sorry, Katrina. It's my fault your father's dead. Gillian. No, if I could have gotten there just a little sooner, your father might still be alive. Oh, Mr. Steed, I appreciate your feelings, but I was always ready for the worst with my father. Every day as I watched him leave for work, will it be today, tomorrow, I knew it was a dangerous job. Katrina, that's... Well, I'm a Junker's daughter. Do you think you'll be all right by yourself? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I don't think I have any tears left. Katrina, are you sure? I am. Okay, Junker, you've got work to do, right? Keep yourself busy. That's the best way to take your mind off of it. Okay, Katrina, you're probably right. I'll appreciate any help you can give me on this investigation. Hmm. Abundant natural resources. No wonder she's working as a model. What do you mean by natural resources? Gillian, please restrain yourself. There's antiques everywhere. All of these are quite impressive pieces. Our house is full of this stuff. Dad kept buying things long after we were out of places to put them. Has paid a lot of attention to the decor and layout of the place. Pretty stupid since we were the only two of us here. None of these items are replicas, they're all genuine art antiques. None of this stuff is really valuable. You said it was all used. I didn't really talk to my dad lately. He was always so busy investigating stuff, cooped up in his study. Me, I'm just a spoiled brat who never cared about her parents. You know any places that serve buffalo? Found buffalo in your dad's stomach. Buffalo? We never had that here. Gross, buffalo? I never eat that. Can't believe my dad used informers. Why? <laughs> informers? Ew. Cringe? Wipe away tears. Persuade. Console. Trina, I'm sure all of this is quite a shock for you. Don't worry, I'm here for you anytime. You can lean on me. Oh, Gillian, spare us, please. Thank you. You're really a nice man, Gillian. Wipe away tears. Let me wipe your tears. Gillian, I saw you blow your nose into that handkerchief. Shut up! Darn, I hope she doesn't notice. Thanks, Gillian. Persuade? Yeah, Mike. Are you busy tonight? We, why don't we go out? Are you kidding? That's my dad's handwriting. He was always leaving memos all over the place.
Oh, this is my dad's. Where did you find it? On his dead body. No, actually in his coat. A disc. It looks like the ones my dad always used on the PC-68. Wait a minute. I better save. Mind if I take a look in your study? Go ahead. This is Gibson's study. This is my dad's study. I haven't touched a thing. It's just the way he left it before he died. Please don't stare at me. My makeup is a mess. Everything's neat and tidy, just like Jean. Wait, there's a personal computer there. You can see the garden from here. A garden, wow. His own house with a garden and everything. Yeah, but it faces north and it's really quite small. What's the issue about it facing north? Oh, north? That's a terrible direction. It's the model PC-68 Genesis. This have not been manufactured for nearly 50 years. Sunlight, you dork. The garden doesn't need sunlight? Is that it, Mike? My father was always using it. Some junk shop gave it to him, so he, and he fixed it up. The pieces are very neatly arranged. My dad really liked chess, but he was always he always seemed disappointed because I couldn't play. wooden window with an aluminum sash and a five inch disk drive installed five inch well that would that must be for this machine Let's see if we can read it black queen is missing queen is missing eh Oh, Dad, sob. Sorry, I'm sure you didn't want to think about it. If I had known I was going, if I had known this was going to happen, I would have been nicer to him. Gillian, you are the same way. You never know what might happen to yourself. You really should tell your wife how you feel. Yeah, well, she's dating another man now, so. I prefer if nobody bothered me right now. Oh no, the poor buffalo. Aren't they almost extinct? Never said anything to me about somebody named Napoleon. My dad personal computer. He used it as like a diary. <laughs> so you gotta pull through. It's okay, Gillian. If I need any advice, I'll be sure to ask you. Wipe away the tears. John really liked puzzles. Let's use the the disc. So the house in that her the house in that search the house was referring to Gibson's house. And that exclamation point was not an exclamation point at all. It was a five it was a symbol for the five inch floppy disc. What? Look closely on the pattern. The pattern matches the read-write holes on the disc. Even drew a little dot to represent the index hole. Lucky, I have to ask, why are you so good at the incel method of seduction? 
uh, because, um, uh, well, the thing is, well, the, the way you, yeah, um, mm, mm, boy, I'm beat. In the other words, it's meant to put the disc in the PC-68 in his house. No doubt John was worried about something that might happen to him and prepared the disc for such an emergency. There it is. Snatcher investigation file. Why does Snatchers appear in the winter? Why are Snatchers nocturnal? I believe I have found the answer to these questions. Snatchers' vampire-like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight is because of their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis of their artificial skin, leading to a form of skin cancer with the characteristics of melanoma. In other words, what we call simple sunburn is fatal to them. This relationship between ultraviolet rays and their artificial skin should give us a way to track them down. It should take at least six more months before they can develop a form of skin which overcomes this defect. These conclusions suggest several useful methods for locating and identifying snatchers. One, investigate skin condition. Check for any evidence of melanoma. Two, check for odor. Cancer cells secrete a unique foul odor. Three, the presence of pollen. Snatchers are believed to hide in areas plentiful in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow 9 can always be detected in places they appear. Snow 9 is an allergen causing throat pain and sneezing. Wait a minute, that's sneezing. Possession of sunscreen. In order to protect their skin from ultraviolet rays, snatchers use sunscreen even in the dead of winter. This is due to sunscreen's ability to block ultraviolet rays. Of these techniques, one in four should prove particularly useful. In addition, Besides working to prevent this skin cancer, Snatchers maintain facilities for treating artificial skin, which has actually become cancerous. I have succeeded in identifying the hospital where this is performed. P.S. Watch out for a bounty hunter named Random Hajil. That's it, eh? You found their weak point. And no doubt John was killed because they learned that he had found their hospital. been looking for that chess piece. It was the only one missing from the board. Okay. Is there anything else we can do? my dad's message message oh hey there gal how you doing you missed out on uh, edf6 last night we made it to uh we made it to the future if you know what i mean Wow, that's about it, I guess. We can check the garden. Hey, take a look at the garden. It's really small. There's nothing in it. Watch out for Alice, okay? 
It's the garden. Alright. Dog is a purebred Doberman Pinscher. The most popular breed in Neo Kobe after Golden Retrievers. The guard dogs have become more popular since the snatcher problem started. Yes, until then, more cuddly breeds were popular. There aren't many street lights here. I don't really see much. I don't see anything unusual. Somebody's really been taking care of this place. There's nothing here. I really am not very good with dogs, you know. There's thorns in here. These plants have been genetically altered to have razor sharp thorns for use in security areas. They're frequently used in upper class residential neighborhoods. Preventing crimes with plants, eh? I barely see anything. I'm not reading any motion. Well, there's nothing here. So back inside. This is our dog. Dad named her after mom after she died. Why? Was she a bit... You saw her too, right? Isn't she cute? Get out of here. Oh, you have to leave already? Will you come back again soon? I'll be waiting for you. Let me give you my address and video phone number. Now give me a call if anything comes up. Thanks again, Mr. Seed. Take care. Going to Alton Plaza. This is Alton Plaza. Christmas you music it's Almost that time too This place is well known for a rendezvous spot for couples Is Napoleon here yet? I can't stand waiting unless it's for a woman Why because they're always late but a bing Is that a Kon Konami? Oh, it's Plato's Cavern. Wait, 69, 11, 70. 69, 11, 70. <laughs> Thank you for calling Plato's Cavern, the store with everything. May I help you? Audio only, eh? <laughs> no doubt it's because they're involved in the black market. About the store. Everything available at the best prices anywhere and no ID required. That's our motto here at Plato's Cavern. And there's none of that dark atmosphere that you find at so many other black market shops. Where's Plato's, where is Plato's Cavern located? We're located on the 5th Street in the Sanomia K District. Everything in that area is part of our organization. Okay, I'll well, see ya. 
Thank you very much. We look forward to serving you. Um, I think we're going to call it there for tonight for Snatcher. Because we're going to be playing tomorrow anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, we're going to take a small break. And then we'll segue into Dawn of War 2 Retribution. We're going to take a small break and we'll be right back.